What's happening, Kim folk? Welcome back to the channel, Knuckles TV. Knuckles coming at you today, man. We are doing another install from my friends over at Bad Boy Cycles. So, if you watched the other video, you know that I just installed the Freedom Series C from Bad Boy Cycles, the extended reach. I forgot to mention in that video how tall I am. So I'm 5'11", but the reason I got the extended reach, uh, I just felt like my legs were still a little cramped up, right? So it gives me room to actually stretch out my legs on here because it sits me a little further back. So anyway, go back and watch that video if you haven't seen that. That way you can see how I install that seat there. But today, we got some more stuff from Bad Boy Cycles. So let's open it up, check it out. Let's go. So you know the first thing we always do here on Knuckles TV. Crack open a cold one. Natty light. Faltering! Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, where you gonna put it? I don't know. All right, right there. So, okay. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open, man. So like I said, I ordered the Freedom Series combo kit, right, to go on the road glide. This here is gonna be the backrest and the pillion seat for Mellow. You ready for it, Mellow? I'm ready. That packed again, nice, and all the foam everywhere. Ooh, wee! Look at that thing there, boys and girls. Backrest, and this is all the mounting bracket. So that's gonna go on here. So you can mount it all together. So let's get it opened up and show you what it looks like. All right, Kim, folks. So if you can see here, man, this is gonna be the pillion seat. I mean, just look at the stitching on it. It's just we got the gray stitching. I mean, the thickness is freaking amazing. Look how thick that thing is. Uh, let's get a measurement of how wide, right? You wanna measure how wide it is, babe? Sure. So let's get a tape measure real quick. All right, so when we measure this out, the furthest width to width, that's gonna be like 12 and a half. 12 and a half inches there. And then here in the center, so your legs, remember on the other one, babe, how your legs were always all wide, spread out because the seat's so wide? Mm -hmm. So this one, it comes narrowed down and that's about eight inches. So I think it should be a little more comfortable as far as like that, but we'll mount this on first. And then the first thing we're gonna have, I mean, rivets again, just like the main seat. You got your brackets here, they're gonna bolt or latch into the rider seat, the main seat there. And then this bracket here, we actually gotta take this off, flip it around, use this pad here to stick in between the fender and that bracket. And then we'll be able to put your screw that holds the back seat back into it. So let's take this off real quick, 530 seconds. So you're just gonna take this, loosen her up. So it actually tells you what to do here also. Remove, rotate, reattach, and install. Rotate it 180, and then uh, put the bolts back in. So it comes with this little pad, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, set it down over here, so that way this part of the seat will sit on it. So this is gonna go sitting on that. And then again, these here are just gonna slide into these that you mount the main seat with. So let me see if I can get that in there. I'm in the way, but I can't see if I don't get down there. Just like that, yeah? Yeah. It's on there? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, and then we're gonna put the screw back in. Make sure it slid all the way up. Screw that down. Shazam. She's on there. That's what it looks like with the pillion seat, man. Look at that thing. Love the way that looks. So dope. So we're gonna get mellow on that here after a while. And we're actually gonna go over a ride because the brother-in-law and sister-in-law showed up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go take off, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put the backrest, the rider backrest together. Uh, I went ahead and already took this bolt and this sleeve was, was in here, All right? So we undid that, took it apart. This leather cover was around this as well. We took that off so I can show y'all exactly what it does. So this, you're gonna loosen this bolt up here and this is gonna allow it to swivel, right? So you can swivel this back and forth. This thumb screw is actually gonna give you the ability to stop however far you want it. And then it will, you'll screw this in if you want it just to go so far like that. And then that way it can't go back anymore, right? So, or you can adjust it and bring it further back like that. 
and just adjust the distance like that there. These grooves are gonna go towards the uh, front of the bike. So it's gonna sit in. So this actually sits through the pillion seat and the uh, rider seat. So this will come in through here and then just slide straight down into there. So let's go ahead and put the backrest on and then we'll install it. So the backrest again comes, man, just super clean. You can, it's got a zipper, you can take it out if you need to for any reason. You've actually got a back pocket cell phone pocket for your passenger or anything your your wallet or whatever you want to put in there bracket here is what's going to mount to this so again these are going to go towards the front so your backrest is going to mount just like this thumb screw in the front these catches are going to be in the front first thing we should probably do put your <laughs> leather cover back on just like that and then this Go into there, sleeve, and then flat washer and your lock nuts, the nylon lock, lock nut. Your ratchets. This is a 10 millimeter, and then this is a 7 16 Tighten down like that. Take your leather cover and just go back over the top with it. Gives you protection just like that there. And that's gonna sit there. So now, we just gotta get on the bike, adjust it, see where I want it at, and then uh, and then that way I can see exactly how this needs to sit. So let me install it real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so the easiest way I found to install the backrest, right, just to drop it in, because I was trying to just to drop it in without looking, and, and I think I was missing it. So you just take this, pull it straight out. Then what you can do is come in here and you can see the uh, bracket there. Just take it through the pillion rest, backrest or pillion seat and then come in from the front. You can go one notch, two notches, or all the way down to three notches there. So it gives you height adjustment. And then I actually took the bolt stop bolt and went all the way in so that here if you can see here that's all the way in so that's only going to let it go back so far so it stops there and then but if you need to get on right or if your passenger wants to get off you can just take this fold it down make it easier for the passenger to get off and then you can slap it back up all the way down with it sturdy i mean it looks freaking amazing Let's see. get on here look at that man that thing feels so good so good so without for me without the back, rider's backrest uh i slouch a lot so that that's what hurts my back but with this on there like it is now man things gonna feel so good so good come on come on come on uh, good <laughs> so, again, this is the full view of what it's going to look like, man. I think I'm going to get back with bad boys, man, and figure out if I can go ahead and, uh, I got to save a little bit of money, but I'm going to buy the matching back pad for the trunk as well. Uh, so, I'm going to get into that. That way it'll have gray stitching all the way up, man. So dope. But again, listen, if you end up getting into these seats man make sure you use my discount code knuckles tv 10 that'll give you 10 percent off your order uh, and then if you go follow them on instagram follow them on facebook uh, let them know knuckles sent you so they know you saw my video and that's how you knew about them i'm super impressed i actually love the seat man my last video the end of the video was recorded same day i'm recording this i just got the back and stuff backrest and the pillion seat in today uh, but i'm at 479 miles with just the rider's uh, rider seat, so the solo seat. So, and like I said, the more I ride it, the more comfortable it gets, man. And with this backrest now, I just can't wait to put more miles on there. That's it, Kimbo. And I'm gonna be truly honest, cause I'm a plus size gal. Yeah, she's gonna be honest. I mean, and and that's the whole. That was the whole purpose of going with this Freedom Series. 
because uh, like I said, Eli told me, he goes, man, if you have, this is going to be the, the, the widest seat they have and the most plush seat that they have is in the Freedom Series, as far as the pillion seat. So, he said, if your passenger wants to be comfortable, put a lot of miles on, man, get the Freedom Series. So, that's why I went with the Freedom Series. So, uh, we're going to try it out and see what she thinks. And I'll give you an honest review as well, man. I mean, none of this stuff was given to me. So, it's uh, I'm going to be honest with you on anything that I have. So, that's just how I am. You know, if I don't like it, I'll let you know I don't like it. Or if there's certain things I don't like about it, I'll let you know that as well. So, uh, uh, again, get with Bad Boy Cycles, man. Badboycycles.com. Let them know Knuckles sent you. Use my discount code, KNUCKLESTV10. So, until next time, until next install. Much love, much respect. Knuckles out. See you.